Alright, so welcome to um, another tutorial for Java programming. So today we're going to look at how to install NetBean um, and we are looking at NetBean version 8.2 together with the JDK. So this is uh, aim for those who are not uh, familiar with programming who are starting to do their programming and would like to learn how to program using Java and uh, today we're going to look at how to install the um, IDE, one of the IDE for Java which is quite popular called NetBean. Alright, so NetBean uh, is a free IDE that you can download uh, and there are a lot of uh, NetBean version and I would suggest for you to go for NetBean version 8.2 that comes with JDK JDK is a Java development kit uh, or Java development um, SDK that allow you to compile Java NetBean without SDK or without its uh, Java development kit uh, you cannot do any and uh, you cannot do much so you need to download uh, NetBean that comes with JDK so go ahead and search Google for NetBean 8.2 with JDK so the first link here straight away bring you uh, to the uh, or the second link here you can just straight away go to the download version so you can see uh, the following link uh, NetBean IDE 8.2 uh, NetBean platform um, SDK uh, but we don't go for this version um, sorry we need to go back and get uh, this version yeah this version sorry for that so you need to get JDK 8.2 uh, and this is the version uh, micro mu 111 with NetBean 8.2 uh, and go ahead and ex click on the accept the license uh, you need to download your version so most probably modern computer nowadays come with a uh, 64 bit machine so choose uh, Windows 64 uh, bit machine and download this version okay this version is important because it came with JDK we want this or else you need to install JDK separately if you download just the NetBean version alright so go ahead and download the 64 bit uh, machine if you are running on a very old machine which is still running what we call on uh, 86 architecture so the 32 bit machine processor go ahead and download that version so for this we are downloading this version Alright, so go ahead and download JDK. So the size is uh, for this installer is 326 uh, megabyte. So you need to make sure that your computer um, had enough um, storage to allow for the installation or even to download uh, this uh, installer. So we need to wait for the installer to finish and then we can perform the installation. Alright. Alright, so once the download completed, you can just go ahead and open this application. This installer. And wait for the installer to initialize okay so the installation size uh, you need to make sure that your drive can free up 780 megabytes so continue um, install on your fabric drive so I would suggest uh, if you have like SSD drive it's better for you to install this into your C directory so continue next and the same with your JDK so JDK also within the same directory much easier for you to manage um, sorry the JDK is in the uh, program file Java directory so remember that uh, this is your NetBean directory in your C drive uh, next um, uncheck for the update no need for that and press install alright so wait for the installer to finish before we can test 
either the uh, the NetBean installation comes with uh, JDK is working properly or not. All right, so once the installation completed, so no need to do that. Uh, disable this and finish. All right, so now it's time for us to test our NetBean. Is it working with Java or not? So the there's an icon on your desktop. So press on the icon NetBean. IDE eight point two. Let your NetBean to load, and then you can see this interface. So let's start with very basic project. Um, we just press file new project let's say we choose java application as our project and we give it hello world as the name of the project all right so directory of the project location will be located in this directory of yours you need to look into your own directory and click finish All right, so let's say we put just a simple statement here system dot out dot print line. So here we just hello world and save. Run, press the green button, and you should be able to see output on your terminal uh, down here, which shows hello world. Means that now your hello world or your netbean is ready to take on the world of java so with that thank you